What if I told you that you can automatically label your images for YOLO object detection? Let me show you how you can do it with Auto Distill. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics and AI, so subscribe to learn more. So the idea behind Auto Distill is we have these big models which are very heavy and not good for real-time use, such as Grounding Dino and SAM, and we want to convert it to smaller, faster models so we can deploy it, such as YOLO V8 and the other YOLO variations. Now to get started, go ahead and install Auto Distill by running the commands here. Pip install the Auto Distill, the Grounded SAM, and the YOLO V8, RoboFlow, and Supervision. Now to run Auto Distill, we need to download and prepare our images. So there's two ways to go about this. The first way is you could go ahead and download the data set with the images directly from RoboFlow. And the second option is you could get a raw video and then split the video into the images for training. So you can see here that you could come to RoboFlow here. If you go to the model, you could select the model that you want. And then you could run these commands here that will let you download those images. And if you're working with a raw video, you could go ahead and run these commands here. Now that you have your video downloaded, go ahead and run these commands to split your video into images. And by running a few more lines of code, we get to see the output of the images that we extracted, as you can see over here. So this is the important part where we prepare our prompt. So we will have our text captions that will map to our class names. So for example, we can see here we have milk bottle to bottle and blue cap to cap. Now we're ready to start the auto labeling process. So you can see here, we have some setup. We're gonna use our grounded SAM here. And then once we do that, we get to display our images to see how it performs. So you run these code here and it'll show the output of our annotations. So you can see that it extracted the bottle as well as the cap pretty nicely. Now we're finally ready to train our YOLO. Go ahead and run these commands and it'll start the training process. Now after the training, we could view our results to see how well the training did. You can see here is our confusion matrix. And then if you scroll down, you can look at the MAP to see how well it did in the predictions. And here you can see this is some of the results for the prediction that I did on the validation batch. Now if you're ready to test this out on unseen images, go ahead and run the inference using the best model. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.